Around 1300 years ago, an enigmatic cosmic disturbance made an impact on our planet, leaving its marks within the intricate patterns of tree rings across the world and even within the frozen ice cores of Antarctica. After two centuries had passed, the same phenomenon occurred once more, albeit with a 60% decrease in intensity. Upon close examination, scientists identified a total of six such cosmic storms that have affected Earth over the course of several millennia. Today, these occurrences are referred to as the Miyake events. Unlike the regular solar storms that our planet encounters, Miyake events possess a much greater potency, and their origins remain veiled in mystery. Research shows that these events happen roughly every thousand years, posing a significant challenge. If a Miyake event were to transpire in our contemporary times, the consequences could be catastrophic, wreaking havoc on modern technology including satellites, internet cables, long-distance power lines, and critical transformers. However, the central inquiry revolves around how we can discern the existence of such events in the past. What sort of imprints have these Miyake events left on our planet? Most importantly, what is the source of these periodic and enigmatic cosmic storms? The resolution to this cosmic enigma lies within the growth rings of trees. Though it may sound peculiar initially, let's delve into the mechanics of what unfolds during an assault of cosmic radiation. When a substantial influx of high-energy radiation crashes into Earth's atmosphere, it triggers changes in its chemical composition. Particularly, when charged cosmic particles interact with the abundant nitrogen atoms present in our atmosphere, they can transform these atoms into a unique carbon isotope, radiocarbon-14. This radiocarbon-14 spreads through the air, the oceans, plants, and animals, allowing for the creation of an annual record of radiation levels in tree rings. In contrast to naturally occurring carbon isotopes on Earth, radiocarbon is relatively scarce, forming primarily in the upper atmosphere through collisions between cosmic rays and nitrogen atoms, which induce nuclear reactions. Given that trees lay down new growth rings each year, there exists a remarkable opportunity. By correlating spikes in radiocarbon quantity with the growth rings present in trees, a dependable historical record of radiation storms that might have impacted Earth eons ago can be pieced together. In 2012, Japanese physicist F. Miyake stumbled upon an intriguing revelation. She unearthed an abrupt and single-year surge in radiocarbon concentration around the year 774 CE within Japanese cedar tree rings. This intriguing discovery was followed by another radiocarbon spike, noted in rings dating back to 993 CE in 2013. Over time, a pronounced escalation in radiocarbon levels was documented, leading to the identification of these six extensively examined and acknowledged radiocarbon spikes, now famously known as the Miyake events. Numerous cosmic events could potentially cause these radiocarbon spikes. While solar storms linked to the sun's dynamic behavior could be an evident candidate, meticulous computer models and tree ring analysis contest this notion. Scientists embarked on modeling the global carbon cycle, reconstructing this process across millennia. Their research yielded intricate curves shedding light on the possible connection between the long-debated astrophysical influence of solar activity cycles and the modulation of radiocarbon production within Earth's atmosphere. For instance, graphing the density of radiocarbon against the timeline of the six Miyake events offered a wealth of data. Among these events, the spikes related to the years 774 and 993 CE stood out with ample global coherence, evidenced in trees spanning both the northern and southern hemispheres. The 774 CE event appeared especially noteworthy, surpassing the 1859 Carrington event, known for its intense geomagnetic storm that ignited telegraph lines and triggered planet-wide auroras, by over tenfold. As the Sun approaches the zenith of its current solar cycle in 2025, the possibility of more frequent geomagnetic storms looms. Nonetheless, after scrutinizing the data, the research team identified certain inconsistencies. Though certain trees across the globe indicated an abrupt radiocarbon spike for a solitary year, Others showcased a delayed surge spanning two to three years. This finding led the scientists to posit that instead of a solitary explosive solar flare, 
multiple minor outbursts might have culminated in a singular Miyake event. One potential cause suggested by astronomers is a supernova explosion. The celestial community has long entertained the notion that a supernova might have been observable in the year 774 CE, prompting investigations into potential links between the radiocarbon spike and these cosmic explosions. Nevertheless, the connection is intricate and not always straightforward, as some supernovae show no accompanying radiation spikes, while certain spikes lack corresponding supernova evidence. Regrettably, an unequivocal explanation for the Miyake events remains elusive. In light of past records, the possibility of a recurrence of a Miyake event in the near or distant future cannot be dismissed. The complication arises from the altered technological landscape since the last occurrence. If an event akin to the 774 CE Miyake incident were to unfold today, it could trigger an internet apocalypse, inflict infrastructural damage, and subject air travelers to hazardous radiation levels. Thus, comprehending the nature of Miyake events and deciphering their underlying physical mechanisms is of utmost importance. Through enhanced insight, humanity might even reach a point where the prediction of these cosmic anomalies becomes feasible in the years to come. And there you have it, a journey into the mystique of Miyake events, those enigmatic cosmic storms that have graced our planet's history. With the knowledge we've unraveled, we stand better equipped to fathom these celestial wonders and perhaps anticipate their occurrence in the unfolding chapters of time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more fascinating content about the wonders of the universe and groundbreaking discoveries, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video.